right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Vitor Belfort. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pounds. And when you've done everything that Habib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Habib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Vitor Lafino. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat, 
I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Magomedov circling to his right now. Great punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side hold. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know that somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Beautiful punch. Marco Medov gets touched by that kick to the body. Checks the leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medov. Yeah, Hamid Nurmago Medov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmago Medov. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right, closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Keep it busy here in the clinch. Big punch land on the mouth. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice straight right lance. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in the zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick. Right on the button. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Under two minutes to go. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Immediately gets the underhook. Nurmago Medov gets the tie clinch here. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. That was a thudding leg kick. Left hand punch. To the and both guys really throwing with authority. Nice punch there by Belfort. Single collar tie now. Belfort gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Thirty seconds to go. Belfort's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 15 seconds to go. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, nice jab. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon, 
Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And of course, the big storyline in the previous round, those knees just up and down, really inflicted a lot of damage on his Really driving the knee into the midsection. Toe pointed down towards the mat. Really throwing his entire body into every knee that he landed. And it shows, because look at his opponent. Look at his opponent's posture as we get ready for round two. over when he throws that kick. Pretty good right hand. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Big ball from Crush Land. Now he gets back to range. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Oh, straight right. Got the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Belfort's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Oh, single collar tie here. Good punch. Nice head kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Belfort's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on this. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Nurmagomedov. Beautiful leg kick. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Right punches there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. If your opponent has you in the clinch, and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Belfort's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? 
anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, he's got the over-under in the clinch. What exactly does that mean, over-under? I mean, it's a 50-50 position. Each guy has an underhook, each guy has an overhook. Who's gonna be the one that goes and scores from this position first? Nice two good punch. Nice one, two there. Ooh, what a head kick. All right, single collar tie now. Big kick land. He lands with the left. Slips the shot. Oh, yeah, right hand. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Belfort's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed. Try, try again, he's able to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this type of throw? What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Mixes it, it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. There's no tell on that leg kick. And they separate. Oh, he eats a knee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of this. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big punch from the It's a nice back and forth action here. Delfort's kick is blocked. Oh, nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Just missed with the straight left hand. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back to the jab now, no good. Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up to see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. 
it to. He's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Nurmagomedov's got the full mount. I mean, how many can he take? Look at him with his hip to that kick. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Right hook to the head block. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So there's the horn, that means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, and they both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we start. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponents. All right, he engages in the single collar dive. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Continues to mix it up there to the head, mixing in some body shots. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Marco Medov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Belfort. Connects with a punch there, DC. That is it! Oh! Woo! 
Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 52 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Vitor the Phenom Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.